Yo, what's up guys? Today we are reacting to this video that popped up on my YouTube recommendations feed. So this is the Gen Z army fighting Myanmar's military dictator. So this is more of a serious video. And um, you guys know that I'm always uh, making videos with music and culture and tourism. So I'm trying to make videos also based on news and i think this fits so if you guys want me to do more of these videos let me know in the comments and i don't know anything about what's going on um in myanmar i have researched a little bit but not enough to you know be an expert on what's the situation is there right now so i don't want any of you to get my name confused because teacher paul it has nothing to do with uh, education this channel is is merely a hobby and um my area of expertise is english as a second language i teach foreigners you know to learn the language and that's it um and with that said let's take a look at this video um i have also reacted to we are the world um which is also by um artists who are from Myanmar and what happened was many of you guys wanted me to check it out so uh, this whole thing kind of like blended in and I thought this would be an interesting reaction to learn more about what's going on and maybe you know if I can ra uh, raise a little bit of awareness bro young rebels willing to die and kill for democracy. In Myanmar, a fierce guerrilla war is intensifying. Wow. Amongst the resistance, former peaceful protesters risking their lives on the battlefield. This is who they're fighting a brutal military junta that seized power in a coup two years ago. So I saw this um, and it was the weirdest way of finding out that there was a coup. Um, what happened was there was this fitness instructor that um, was making her video and the coup was like going behind her. So that's the first I, I uh, the first glimpse of I uh, of what was happening which was the most random thing. The regime doesn't want the outside world to see what they're doing here. But we're traveling secretly into the country. This river that we're crossing is the dividing line between Thailand and Myanmar. Myanmar's military controls the official border crossings, but we're heading into rebel controlled territory. Wow. We're meeting fighters from a new unit Cobra column. In the back of this truck, former bakers, engineers, builders, and entrepreneurs. Most of these men had never even fired a shot before the coup. Man, can you imagine you're living your life, you're following your career, and then suddenly you're in this situation where you're fighting for your freedom. Now they're at the forefront of the war, leading assaults on key trading towns as the rebels advance into regime-held territory. What has the fighting been like? Have you lost many men? Have you killed many of your enemies? Do you think you can really defeat the military? Do you have enough weapons, enough ammunition? They might look well armed, but their guns come from the black market. Other weapons are homemade. You know what the saddest thing about this is? Um, they're, they're actually killing people from the army who maybe don't even agree right they're just following orders and they're they're becoming victims so it's 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 a sad thing to see that um they're killing their fellow men 
but there is no way around it, right? It is, it is really, oh man, it's like two of the same people fighting each other, both have families, and man, it's, it's, it's such a complicated situation. ลูเจเนวะเนาะอ่าနိုင်ငံတကားအကူညီနိုင်မယ်ဆိုရင်ဒီရဲပေါ်တွေဆိုရင်လည်းမပြည့်ဆုံးမှုကြားတဲ့
Myanmar's military is under more pressure than ever before, and they're responding with horrific violence. My goodness. The rebels control large rural areas, so the regime, fearing ambushes, are relying on airstrikes like these. Yeah, Helicopters so and jets sad. supplied by long-time allies China and Russia. Fear is everywhere. Around one and a half million people have fled their homes. These orphans lost their parents before the war. Now they've been forced out from their village, seeking safety in the forest. Sam Usay has been helping look after them here for a year now. There's little aid for those inside Myanmar, the conflict ignored by much of the world. As we cross back into Thailand, fresh clashes break out close to another border town. Civilians caught in the crossfire wade across the river, carrying whatever they can. <laughs> Fleeing their homes, around 10,000 people. On the wow. other bank, 10, temporary refugee people. camps are being set up. What happened? Why did you have to come here? It's only a brief respite. As soon as there's a lull in fighting, everyone here will have to return home. Wow. The violence is taking an awful toll. We've negotiated rare access to a secret clinic treating wounded fighters. So most of the people here, how do they get injured? Kokant used to be a chef. After oh, the coup, man. he joined the rebels, assigned to a makeshift weapons factory. That's horrible, man. He used to be a chef, now he only has one hand. I mean, he can still try, but... If... It, man, it, it's sad to see that his um, his tool of work has been, you know, damaged. You lost your hand. Do you regret having joined the resistance movement? Despite the awful injuries here, there are no regrets. The brutality of war hasn't defeated the idealism of this generation. A book of poetry saved Charlie's life when he was shot in the chest during his second ever battle. He was just 17 when he signed up, lying about his age. He didn't wow. want to show his face to protect his family. Did you get badly hurt? What do you want to do when you recover? I still want to fight. Aren't you afraid? No, no, no. Why not? Because my friend was dying from my life. Wow. So you want to get revenge? Yes. <laughs> This war shows no sign of ending. 
Myanmar's rebels are on their own, but committed to the cause. A generation sacrificing their lives for a future they might never see. Wow, that was a, a very heavy, heavy um, video. It, it kind of shows you a little bit, just a little bit of, you know, the reality of what's going on down there. Man, oh. Right now, guys, let's just start praying for Myanmar and I don't know the full extent of things that, you know, but I, I, I just hope that they they managed to end this war um i think it, it's up to the authorities you know the governments and and i mean we are in we are in a period that democracy should be available to everyone right um and people not having not being able to choose is is the worst thing ever and i don't know it's just something that puts life into perspective you know because we live in in like i live in the uk so it, even though there are rumors of war here it's it's not the same thing because we aren't living in war. We are actually living in a very comfortable life. And whenever we see things like this, it's it always takes you back, brings you back to, to reality that, you know, um, whatever we can do, we should do. You know, there are people out there that need help. So let's try our best to help. But for now, guys, let's start praying and, you know, sending our... Um, there are thoughts to to Myanmar, and I know that's they're they're not the only country that's going through problems and issues. And man, it's just it's just really sad to watch these type of videos. Um, but hey, I think it's uh, it, it's something that is necessary so that we can at least try to figure out and and talk and like figure out how we can help and, and talk in the comments okay guys um that's it for now i will i'll check the comments and talk to you guys later but hey take care see you soon Bye bye